Big 550 KTRS. Ryan Burrow checks in from Chicago with an interesting story. Now that Nordstrom, Sears, and Kmart have all dropped Trump apparel. And this on the top of Land's End. Now comes word that there's Ryan Burrow, a fight brewing b between athletic apparel. What's going on? Yeah, we've got, uh, well, a couple things going on. First of all, if you had a chance to watch the Grammys last night, you may have seen the new LeBron James Nike commercial. It features Serena Williams. It features Kevin Durant. 90-second ad. It's part of a new initiative from Nike to take the fairness and respect they see in sport and translate them off the field. So uh, what you see, if, if you haven't seen the commercial, is people uh, essentially extending lines, whether it be basketball court lines or track and field lines or tennis court lines, and trying to extend them into our everyday life to say that we should be uh, the same essentially as we are in the field. We should be in the real world. Uh, opportunity should not discriminate is one of the quotes. Uh, the ball should bounce the same for everyone. And then LeBron James at the end, the quote, if, you, if we can be equals here, we can be equals anywhere. So uh, it seemed as though there, there was a political shot taken at some of the, uh, uh, the immigration stuff going on with the Trump administration, whether it be the travel ban or maybe some of these uh, ice raids that have been going on over the last couple of weeks as well. Um, and in the meantime, outside of that Nike ad, you've got uh, – um, the uh, uh, CEO of Under Armour, Kevin Plank, who did an interview with uh, CNBC, and uh, he called President Trump a real asset for the country. Well, uh, there are a lot of stars and celebrities that are lined up behind this Under Armour brand, including Steph Curry, uh, including Dwayne The Rock Johnson, uh, Misty Copeland, who's the first African-American female principal dancer with the American Ballet Theater. They all came out immediately after this quote and basically uh, denounced the quote. Uh, Steph Curry uh, uh, saying that uh, you know the quote was a real asset for the country, and Steph Curry says he agrees with Plank. If you remove the word, the letters E T from asset. Yeah. So these are Under Armour guys uh, under contract with Under Armour who get paid millions of dollars to wear their shirts and their hats and everything else. So any backlash or any comment from Under Armour after that? Well, it seems like they're kind of walking back some of the comments from the CEO, Kevin Plank, uh, releasing a statement saying we believe in advocating for free trade and inclusive immigration policy that welcomes uh, the best and brightest and for tax reform. So uh, kind of clarifying what they believe uh, some people perceive to be Kevin Plank's uh, statements on the, in the CNBC interview, in which he praised Donald Trump's bold decision-making, uh, that he likes to build things and says he has a lot of respect for them. But, uh, yeah, they pretty, pretty much right after. I mean, Dwayne The Rock Johnson went on Twitter and uh, released this big, long statement saying uh, a good company is not defined by its CEO, um, it, saying that the statements uh, were decisive and lacked perspective. So, um, you know, it seems like even the people who are, get, who are on the payroll are, are, are slamming the, the Under Armour CEO. Uh, any, uh, we're, I'm sure on time, Ryan, but any uh, backlash, any boycott starting, any hashtag starting we should know about? Uh, not yet that we've seen, although we'll have to see kind of how this all unfolds. Ryan Burrow, ABC News. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. 744, Big 550, KTRS. Stephen Roberts will join us in six minutes to get more of a perspective on Donald Trump and his uh, love-hate relationship with the press. Uh, all of that straight ahead. Big 550, KTRS. Johnny Londoff Chevrolet, Highway 270 at the Washington Elizabeth exit. All you need to know, cruises as low as 14.9, Malibu 17.7, Equinox, Silverados. Johnny Londoff has given back all month in the month of February. For every new or pre-owned vehicle that Johnny Londoff sells in February, they'll make a donation to the St. Louis Ark. Now, the St. Louis Ark is near and dear to the Londoff family. They provide assistance to over 4,000 adults and children with developmental and intellectual disabilities and their families. So buy a car. If you need a car, Johnny Londoff will take care of you on price, financing, service, everything else. And he'll give a nice, big, fat donation to St. Louis Ark. So uh, Highway 270 at the Washington Elizabeth exit or online at Londoff.com. Find new roads. Johnny Landoff.